Hey, how can I help you? I have some what I think are very interesting items. Okay. <laughs> that I don't think you maybe have ever seen before. These are papal slippers. They belonged to Pope Leo the Thirteenth. We're comfortable with me, Rick. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell my slippers and cap that belonged to Pope Leo the 13th. I inherited them about 20 years ago. I want to sell them, but I don't know what they could possibly be worth or if someone would even want to pay money for them. Where in the world did you get these? My aunt was a nun and I was helping clean out some of her closets. And I said, Auntie, what's in this cute little suitcase? She said, oh, just some slippers that belonged to Pope Leo the 13th. And do you know anything about him? He was Pope from 1878 until 1903 when he died. And he had the third longest papacy in Pope history. I'm just still sort of overwhelmed. Pope Leo was definitely up there on the list of famous popes. He thought science and religion should coexist, which was pretty controversial at the time. W what else do we have? Uh, we also have the cap that was worn by Pope Leo the 13th. OK. That's a big wow factor right there. Uh, we also have um, his stockings. I'm amazed. We just don't get stuff like this walking through the door every day. Um, yeah. You got the Pope's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I mean, did she tell you how she got them or anything like that? She just said it's a box full of Pope stuff? It's, there, there's some writing on the front of this box. It's hard to read, but um, it says brocade, uh, velvet brocade slippers said to have belonged to Pope Leo the 13th. Uh, silk stockings, also his. Cap, also his, given to me some years ago by an Italian priest, Father Capiotani. And then it's signed and it's dated, it looks like 1937. What do you want to do with this stuff? Well, I would like to sell them. Well, we can stand here and talk all day about these slippers. We don't know a damn thing. Let's call somebody. Um, yeah. So let, let me go make a phone call. Like I said, rarely am I speechless, but this you is... You are this time. Let's go. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you. We get religious items in here all the time, but something that actually belonged to the Pope, I got to assume these are really valuable. But how do you prove these were the Pope's? So check this out. That was supposedly owned by the Pope, Leo the Thirteenth. The Pope's right. shoes, the Pope's hat. Pope's All right. His socks. This is interesting. Leo the Thirteenth. he served as Pope from 1878 to 1903. He was very influential in how the Catholic Church was changing at that point. At that point, the Catholic Church was under siege in Italy. There was a huge anti-clerical, anti-church movement. He's the first Pope that was ever filmed, and he's the first Pope that we have on tape. He's the first pope that you can actually hear him speaking. If these are actually his, they are significant. The pope is probably one of the top moral authorities in the world. This is a position that doesn't have a lot of temporal power, but he has moral power. And we have seen popes who have made enough of a difference that entire governments have changed. OK, well, let's take a look at them. The popes used a particular type of slipper that was consistent for oh, about 500 years. The construction appears absolutely correct. They had a, a leather sole. The uppers would be velvet like this. Oh, well, this is good. It's, it's a satin interior. It's handmade. It's, it's gold threading on it, all of which is, is correct. Now, the Tsucheta, I can tell, is not in the best of shape. The problem here is the Tsucheta is done with silk. And at the turn of the century, in order for silks to fall correctly, the silk was treated with metallic salts. Oh. And what happens if the salts cut the threads? Mm. You can see this surface layer has almost completely disintegrated. The inner lining is a very soft kid leather. And that would make sense. All right, so what do you think? Did these belong to the Pope? <sighs> M 
Maybe. <laughs> I hate to do that to you, Rick. I, I hate to do that to you. They're, they're the right time period. They're made right. My, I would give it about a 75% yes. Okay. You know? it's, it's a problem that you run into when you've got something that's, that belonged to somebody. You know, unless you've got that person having written their name in it, a lot of times it's real hard to say absolutely. This is exactly what I was afraid of. This is one of the coolest things to walk in my shop in a while, but there's just no way to prove they're real. And the thing is, I really do believe her story. W what did you want for him? To be honest, I don't know. What do you think, Rick? You know what? I normally don't do this, but I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's... <sighs> You know, I, I can't get a definitive answer on this stuff, but I have to guarantee this stuff when I sell it. Sure. Thanks Thank for bringing it. Thank you so much. In. You're welcome. My Thank pleasure. Thank you, young lady. Well, obviously, we didn't make a deal, but I learned a ton about them. I feel really good about the expert's opinion. So someday, I would love to sell them and cash in on that inheritance.